Hey guys, it's Abdullah and it's time for my Nokia N9 review. Let me start with the hardware device. First thing you notice when you hold the device that it feels uh, very solid in the hands. The curves are really nice and I really gotta give it to Nokia for making in my what is in my opinion one of the most beautiful devices in terms of build quality and ergonomics especially when you hold it you can tell immediately that it's a very special um, phone and uh, despite being made of plastic it does feel expensive um, first you're faced off with the screen and uh, the screen on the gotta say the screen on the N9 is a pretty amazing screen um, no complaints about the screen whatsoever and the screen is 3.9 inches um, 16 to 9 uh, ratio and it's an AMOLED display so as you can see the blacks are ex extremely black and the colors have high contrast and whatnot. Uh, now on the right side of the device you have just three buttons which is the uh, lock switch lock switch on and off volume rocker up and down and on the left side of the device there are no buttons whatsoever at the top you have the uh, micro USB port which can be open if you press on this and 3.5 millimeter uh, headphone jack as well as the micro SIM port here and on the bottom of the device you just get the loudspeaker grill the loudspeaker by the way isn't uh, that loud it's actually below average but it's very very clear so you might want to take that into consideration and at the back you have the 8 megapixel Karzai's uh, optics lens with dual LED flash with, which takes a pretty decent shots um, I wouldn't call it the best 8 megapixel camera out there but it's definitely very good and um, very good for most people and um, that's about it for the hardware of the device uh, you want you might want to keep into consideration that there are chrome pieces and the chrome pieces on the N9 is basic is my, in my opinion the only flaw in the design of this phone cuz they get scratched very easily so you have you might want to uh, put a protective cover on top of that so if you want to avoid scratches now moving on to the uh, OS uh, this phone comes with the Amigo Hamilton 1.2 and uh, um, it's a quite brilliant OS when it comes to fluidity and you feel that this is the literally the only phone that uh, the design exterior design of the phone fits completely with the OS as it's so curved and the design is pretty much flawless and then you get to the OS which is also very smooth the sc screen is slightly curved to help with the swiping movement which this OS completely depends on and as you can see the experience is very smooth now let me get into a bit of detail on the OS uh, first you get this apps view where all your applications are located and uh, as you can see the colors are very nice the screen is, is quite something and it scrolling is very smooth uh, well m the only flaw I find as a user with this uh, implementation of the app uh, to apps uh, view is that there are no folders so uh, things might get a bit messy but uh, from what I know I think it's coming in a firmware update which be, should be coming out pretty soon so sh that shouldn't be a problem now moving to the right you swipe to the right and you don't have to swipe from the edge when you're in the home screens you just have to just swipe any swipe and then you move to the multitasking view which uh, in my opinion is one of the best implementations of multitasking on any platform you get these cards that show you exactly what each app uh, has and um, clicking on it obviously takes you immediately to the uh, mentioned app you can also uh, let me try and show you this you can pinch to zoom and it will become a 4x4 four four screen so you can scroll the apps like that or zoom uh, wait, zoom out and you get the 9x9 9 9, uh, uh, 3x3 view with 9 apps open and uh, scrolling between every app is very flawless and it's 
actually quite brilliant how you just have to swipe from the edge of the screen and you can use any edge so from the bottom up from the up down uh, up moving down you can enable it to close apps which is what I've done which is something I think you should all do uh, because it's the best the easiest way to close apps instead of having to go to the multitasking view so you just swipe from the top down and as you can see the app just completely disappeared and uh, you can long tap here and you will move to this uh, menu where you can just close all apps separately or press, press close all and close them all uh, all together now uh, this is like a carousel thing so there are three home screens and the one on the left of the app view is the feeds and notifications view where you get all the feeds immediately on your home screen you can enable facebook and twitter and uh, it will just be displayed based on the timeline so it's basically like your social uh, networks uh, view and uh, when you press on anything it'll take you immediately to the mentioned uh, place so here I'm just being taken to the feeds anyways um, the built-in apps you'd be glad to know that most of the built-in apps on the N9 are uh, pretty smooth uh, to use and uh, I'll show you I'll show you an example here the clock app here you can just add an alarm and adding alarm you just move this it's like a clock and then you move this for the minutes and so on so uh, the experience in using the built-in apps is, is very good the calendar is also very smooth and uh, contacts it, uh, mer uh, it basically takes down your contacts from Facebook and Twitter and Skype and jump combines them in one place and if it doesn't merge them you can merge them automatically so it's all is good you have the web browser on this phone is also one of the highlights of the device it's pretty quick and very uh, responsive I'll show you here let me open um, my uh, my Nokia blog um, well I have many people at home using Wi-Fi so I'm, I wouldn't expect it to load up quickly here and plus my room is pretty far away but generally if you're close to the Wi-Fi and uh, and not many people are downloading torrents uh, I think you should be really fine but uh, once it loads I'll show you anyways um, music app is also pretty good it's basic but it's uh, quite nice it doesn't have that many uh, options here but uh, it does the job listening to music and everything's categorized songs albums and so on let's see if the web browser is uh, loaded here and yeah now it's loaded as you can see very very smooth and let me show you pinch to zoom and uh, as you can see the web browser is definitely one of the highlights of the device the only uh, thing that the web browser lacks is flash and um, yeah when you open a web page uh, it opens as a separate tasks so you can have web pages here three different web pages on the multitasking view which is uh, very good between for switching between them as I said before this is one of the best multitasking implementations on any phone really and um, m moving on to the disadvantages of using the phone and one last advantage I forgot to mention is that the device is made out of polycarbonate plastic and this means that and the plastic is colored through so this means that if you do manage to scratch the phone you will not lose the color as the plastic in itself is in the same color of the body of the device so black here it gets scratched what's under it is exactly the same color black anyways moving on to the um, cons of the device and um, just quickly um, that the processor in this phone is pretty old it's something from 2000 and late 2009 2010 so you, it will, it will, the phone will definitely slow down when you have multiple apps open but um, and you will get occasional slowdowns sometimes when you close apps completely and you move on quickly to use the device but that shouldn't be a problem for most people you, and the device is pretty smooth otherwise and this is the first version of Migo uh, Armitan on a Nokia so don't expect it to be completely bug free uh, well, um, as I mentioned uh, before, the chrome on the body gets scratched very easily. The loudspeaker on the device uh, is, isn't exactly very high. 
So you might want to take note of that. And obviously the limited applications for the Migo platform, since Nokia isn't going to be making any more Migo, Migo uh, at, uh, phones, so you might want to take that also into consideration. But you'll be good to know that Nokia is going to be using Qt and is already using Qt and Symbian and it's going to be moving it to uh, the next billion devices. So as Nokia puts it, this is only the Qt uh, or Qt uh, uh, flagship device. So hopefully apps for this phone aren't going to die. Plus this phone is completely open source. So developing uh, and creating mods for this phone is very, very easy. As a matter of fact, if you want to between quotations, jailbreak the phone, all you have to do is just access uh, the settings and as you can see here, you just go to developer mode, enable it and you can access all the files of the phone. I wouldn't recommend you to do that if you're a normal user unless you know what you're doing. So that, uh, oh yeah, and one of the disadvantages for most users is that the lack of smart dialing. I'm hoping this will be enabled in a firmware uh, which Nokia said they're going to be releasing soon. Um, quite exciting news for Migo fans since Nokia said, or a uh, developer for Nokia said that he's counted around 3,500 new improvements and features added in the new version of uh, Migo should be at not too long from now. So anyways, that's it for the device and uh, I hope you like it. As I said, it's, it's a really brilliant looking phone and the OS is one of the best OS's, touchscreen OS's, no buttons at all, very fluid, uh, very nice to use. And quality is obviously um, typical Nokia, very good, and signal is also pretty good. So this phone, in my opinion, is one of those phones you don't buy for the apps or even features. It's The phone in itself is, is so stylish, I would... You know, I would buy it just alone based on style. So if you're into this design and you want something for the future, uh, you should be excited about the Nokia Windows Phone coming out soon. Anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys with another, another uh, video pretty soon. Perhaps comparisons um, between the N9 and other devices, hopefully coming soon. Uh, thanks guys for watching. If you have any suggestions, comments, questions or so on about the Nokia N9, please do let me know. Uh, I'll be very glad to answer all of them. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye.